Hey, everybody. Welcome to a special edition of our Sunday conversation here on FingerLakesOne.com. As you know, each week we bring a guest who has something interesting to share or a story to tell. And in this case, we have both because we caught up with Eric Devendorf. Yes, the Eric Devendorf who played college basketball with Syracuse Orange between 2005 and 2009. But we aren't here today to talk about basketball. Eric reached out to me last week to talk about the CNY Cares initiative, which he's behind and was launched in Syracuse. It's expanding into Rochester now, and CNY Cares has been raising money for small businesses who've been impacted by the coronavirus pandemic. The concept is similar to the Barstool Fund, and it's filling a void created by government during the pandemic. The answer? Get money to businesses, do it fast, and do it before they are forced to close their doors for good. We'll pick up this week's conversation with Eric giving an overview of the CNY Cares initiative and its organizational structure. First business initiative that was inspired by the Barstool Fund. Um, I saw Dave Portnoy um, doing that for New York City and obviously went around the country and it kind of inspired me to do it in Syracuse on a smaller scale. So I set up a GoFundMe. Um, and within a month, we raised almost $80,000, and we were able to um, give that out to 18 different small businesses here in Syracuse. Uh, and then after that, you know, a few local businessmen reached out to me, and they wanted to um, get a second one going and, and take it to a whole nother level. So that's when we formed um, CNY Cares, Inc., which is a, a 501c3 nonprofit that it just allows us to do a lot more as far as, um, you know, raise more money and get larger companies involved. Uh, which in turn will allow us to help more small businesses. So um, we're really excited about this project. We already have, uh, you know, almost 350,000 uh, committed uh, with a goal of 5 million. So uh, it's really starting to roll. Um, you know, we've only been uh, launched probably for two, three weeks. And, uh, you know, this one is for Rochester and Syracuse. So, uh, you know, uh, we know this pandemic has devastated a lot of small businesses, a lot of people. And, um, I think it's only right to try to help out as much as we can. What was it like? I'm curious, uh, seeing it not only come together as quickly as it did, but see the the positive reaction sort of uh, come through as fast as it did as you guys started, obviously, the GoFundMe and then quickly expanding into more than that. Oh, I mean, you know, Syracuse community is so awesome. Um, you know, I've been here since I played in 2005, back and forth, and um, they still treat me like I like I'm on the team right now, uh, and you know whatever I do, I you know I do a lot of stuff in the community as far as coat drives, back to school events, free basketball clinics, and things like that. And uh, they always rally around and, and donate supplies, and money, and uh, you know it was the same thing for this. You know we talked about the first event two days. I think we raised uh, twenty five thousand dollars, which ended up being uh, you know close to eighty thousand, like I said. And uh, you know for this one when we launched CNY Care, I think. Uh, which is the, it's the upstate uh, campaign. Um, same thing. Like they came out in full force and, and really wanted to back it. And obviously, five million is a lofty goal, but uh, I believe with the support and um, the team that we're creating right now, uh, you know, we're going to be able to achieve that and and hopefully even get more. What was it? I'm curious that that after after your time at SU, what what was it that made you say Syracuse, Central New York? This this is where I want to plant my own roots. Well, I mean, again, Syracuse has meant so much to me. They've done so much to me. I mean, when I played here, they were with me through the ups and downs. Uh, you know, being a 18-year-old uh, kid coming here, right, putting in the spotlight, uh, you know, everyone sees what you're doing. And, and they've stuck with me, and, uh, like I said, through the ups and downs. And I just wanted to be able to give back to a community that has done so much for me. And uh, we were excited to add Rochester. You know, John Wallace is on the board, who is a, a native of Rochester. And, uh, you know, so – we got the ball rolling out there as well. And a lot of people are back in it. So uh, just excited to give back. And I think that's what it's all about, you know, um, especially during these times, you know, a lot of people need help. A lot of people who uh, were doing fine before this, uh, you know, aren't doing so good right now with, with, with their small businesses and things like that. So uh, it's up to us as a community, as, as a people to come together and, uh, and, and really help each other out. How frustrating was it uh, for you as someone who obviously cares a lot about the community to see uh, it and the small businesses that ultimately make up the fabric of that community 
struggle, especially in the beginning of the pandemic when there was a lot more uncertainty than there is now, even though there is obviously a great deal of challenge in the next several months for uh, small businesses. What, what was it like? What were your feelings like when you're, you're watching this community that you, you care a lot about just uh, not really know what was next or what they were supposed to do to be able to keep, keep moving forward? So it was extremely tough. I mean, you know, families that I that I know, uh, good friends that I know. I mean, even myself, you know, I have a, a company, ED23 Hoops, and, um, you know, it does basketball camps, clinics, and, and events and stuff like that. And all the gyms were shut down, you know, so, you know, that that affected my business. But, um, you know, what I wanted to do is is just get everybody else, else up and inspire and motivate them, even in a, in a trying time to try to help each other. And, and like I said, a lot of my close friends were affected. A lot of uh, their families were affected and to be able to, you know, see the businesses they've had for, you know, 20 plus years being shut down or just on the verge of being shut down is tough. You know, these are, these are people's livelihoods, you know? So, um, you know, we wanted to do something and uh, bring something together. And, and we feel that this project with CNY Cares um, Upstate campaign is, is really special because, um, you know, it's, it's a lot of people coming together um, for one great cause and that's to help, each other out, you know, help the community of Syracuse and Rochester, and hopefully we can we can get it out to where it could be in Buffalo and Albany, and we're open to that. But um, you know, we just really want to help these people and, and bring our community back to um, you know what it was before, because you know it's I guess you can't really tell um, you know right away when you see it, but you know when you talk to people, when you hear their stories, uh, it's a lot of devastation in, in these communities, and um, you know we want to be here to help and. and uh, inspire and motivate to bring people back where we were um, before the pandemic. And, you know, it's our job to do that now. So what does the, walk us through the process. What does the process look like for businesses who, who maybe they are one of the ones in Syracuse or Rochester or wherever the case may be, uh, who are really struggling and are sort of on the verge and they're hearing about this and they're seeing it. Maybe they visited your website. What, what do they have to do uh, to become eligible to uh, apply? So we have a website created, cnycares.net, and all the information is there. You can donate there um, to our cause. And then businesses who need assistance, they can go to the to the website and apply for funding. And they have we have an application that goes through all the details that we need to know for each business. Um, And they could either send that in uh, by email or they could send it into the address uh, provided on the website. Uh, And again, it has all the information they need to know. uh, you know, our board members will uh, review all the applications and, uh, and go through all the businesses and, and, and try to help as many as we can. So uh, right now, the goal is to raise as much capital as we can. Um, like I said earlier, we have about 350000 committed uh, with a goal of $5 million. And um, as we raise that capital, uh, we'll, we'll uh, hand the money out to the businesses as well. So we, we really want to try to, uh, you know, get this going ASAP because, you know, the longer we wait, uh, we know a lot of businesses just can't wait. So. Um, cnycares.net um, is, is where you can get all your information to donate and, and businesses apply for funding and uh, and also just trying to spread the awareness and, and get businesses who, who've had success during this time because, you know, there there are some businesses who, who've done well, you know, and that's just, you know, the nature of the beast. And uh, we want those businesses to be aware and, and, you know, help donate money to, you know, help these other businesses who've been struggling. What do the next, say, three to four or five months uh, look like for CNY Cares uh, as an entity? Are you guys focused pretty much exclusively on the on the capital raising side, or are there different things sort of organizationally that you guys are still working on getting uh, sorted out, or what's that process look like for for you guys internally? So before we even you know created uh, you know the corporation, we made sure we have everything um, you know as far as the lawyers and, and the tax and everything you know taken care of so we can just kind of focus on raising the capital and then um, spreading the awareness so these, you know, these businesses can apply for assistance. So uh, w- like I said, the ball has been rolling. We actually uh, got a few people out in Rochester, um, Mark Allen, who's with uh, Royal Oak Realty Trust and um, Colby Fien, who's, who's with the asset management firm out there. Um, so we got the ball rolling out in, in Rochester. Also talked to Bob Duffy trying to get some, uh, uh, you know, more momentum and, we, we have a lot of meetings coming up just, you know, just spread awareness. And, and like I said, uh, just trying to get more businesses on board and uh, to help out these small businesses that have been affected. And I think the more people know about it and can learn about our mission, what we're trying to do, the more people are going to want to help. And, and uh, 
you know, that's our overall goal is just to spread awareness. And then, you know, I think people will hop on board from there. Does that make you feel good heading into and, and frankly make you a little more motivated to want to take on something like this? Absolutely. And, and I think, you know, when I first, you know, when we first did the, uh, the first round of small business initiative, you know, the goal was obviously to help out and raise as much money as we could, but another goal was to inspire and motivate others to do the same thing. You know, I think when we kind of get everybody, uh, you know, on the same page and helping out, I mean, great things could happen. I mean, we've seen it, you know, around the country, around the world, when people come together for a great cause, uh, you know, real good things can happen out of it. And I think that's the you know, same thing here in Syracuse and Rochester. I've, I've seen it before, obviously on a smaller scale, um, you know, just with doing, uh, you know, like I said, coat drives and shoes. I've seen people come together um, for a common cause and, and make great things happen. So obviously this one is, uh, on a little bit of a larger scale. And, uh, and, and yeah, you're right. It does inspire and motivate me to keep doing more. When I see people, you know, uh, reaching out and saying, Hey, I, I love what you're doing. It, it motivates me to want to help out more and, and uh, bring more people on board and uh, let more people know what we're doing. Uh, it, it lets me know that it's working. You know, it, it's working what we're trying to do, what we're trying to help out in our communities. And uh, I'm very, very thankful for, for uh, the people in this community and, uh, you know, for, for them reaching out and uh, being thankful for what we're doing, because without them, you know, none of this could happen. You know, it's obviously we're the ones who uh, maybe had the idea and put it out there, but, you know, without our communities, without the people in our communities, you know, none of this is possible. So it's uh, kudos to all, to Rochester, Syracuse, you know, all the upstate, um, because that's without them, like I said, it's, we couldn't do it. And the last question I've, I've thrown at everybody that I've interviewed in for what seems like the last forever um, is pretty, a uh, pretty simple one. What's one thing that makes you feel optimistic about where we are now and where we're going uh, over the next five, six, seven months? Well, I think we, we, uh, we talked about it. It's the people, you know, uh, the people of our communities, um, you know, there, there's always a, a light, a shed of light in the darkness. Right. And, um, even though we've been going through this, what seems to be 10 years, even though it's only been a year, uh, you know, it's, it's always been little, little positive lights here and there that could inspire you and motivate you to, you know, continue to go. Um, and again, um, what we're doing hopefully can shed some light on somebody else who, who's having a, a, a dark spot, you know, a dark week, whatever it may be. Hey, they're doing this. Let me go out there and, uh, you know, try to help my community in, in some type of different way. Let me go out there and, uh, you know, uh, I don't know, pay for somebody's, pay for somebody's meal who, who, you know, just paying it forward. And it's the people, you know, it's the people who inspire and motivate each other. And, uh, you know, we can look at the negative all day. I think that's what a lot of media across the country likes to focus on is, is negativity. But uh, when you really get in depth and look into the communities, uh, it's more positive than negative. It's more people trying to help out than not. It's more people trying to inspire and motivate uh, than not. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's the whole goal. And it comes down to the people and I'm very thankful and grateful for, um, Syracuse and Rochester communities and upstate because we live in a special place. That's right. And the, uh, the website is cnycares.net. That's Eric Devendorf. Eric, thanks so much for the time today. Really appreciate it. Josh, I appreciate you having me on.